Hi, in this video we'll learn how to subtract polynomials using horizontal methods. So, the first step that we need to do is to get rid of the parentheses. To remove the parentheses, we just need to distribute this negative sign inside the parentheses. So, I have a negative 7x squared, and I'll write my first polynomial without the parentheses, then plus 8x minus 4. Now, when I write my second polynomial, I have to make sure I distribute this. So basically, when I distribute this negative sign inside the parentheses, all the terms will change their sign. So this is a negative 11x. This will become positive 11x. This is a positive 2. It will become negative 2. And this one is a negative 14x squared, and that will become a positive 14x squared. And that makes sense because when you distribute this negative sign, negative times negative would be a positive 11x. Negative times positive 2 would be a negative 2. And then negative times negative would be a 14x. Sorry, negative times negative would be a positive. Now, all we need to do is to look for the like terms and combine them. So like terms are those terms that has the same variable raised to the same power. And let's see, so I have this and this. These two are like terms because they have x squared, x squared, so we can combine them. Negative 7x squared plus 14x squared will give us 7x squared. So these terms are taken care of. Now we have um, 8x and 11x. 8x plus 11x will give us 19x. So we'll put here 19x. So these terms are taken care of. Then I have negative 4 minus 2, and that will give us a negative 6. And if you notice that, my final answer is already in standard form. That means um, the highest power, the term that has the highest power goes first, uh, followed by the term that has the next highest power, and then so on. So I have x squared in the first term, then I have x, and then this one doesn't have x to it. So this is already in standard form, and this will be my final answer. So this is how you subtract polynomials, and I hope you find this video helpful. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.